Hey, good morning, everybody. Here's a beautiful weather photo. This is up in the UP uh, to the south and east of Marquette. This is not to Quamanin Falls. This is on the other side of the UP. It's called Bond Falls. I think of James Bond when I hear that. Uh, beautiful shot here by Richard Kevgen or Kevgen. Uh, great shot here. I've got this on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And if you want to connect with me, the Facebook page, Kevin Craig Fox 17, you can like that page and post there. Or if Twitter or Instagram are your thing, uh, it's at Fox Weatherman. That is the weather handle. As we look across the lower 48 states, there's a lot of fronts and some low pressure systems and some highs in the map here. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on for us. There's a little disturbance up here that's going to come racing on in here as we get into the afternoon hours. That'll likely pick up a little bit of moisture from Lake Michigan, and we'll likely see some snow showers, maybe a couple, two, three inches across our southern counties. Uh, and because of it, we do have a winter weather advisory out today for Ottawa, Allegan, Van Buren, Berrien, and Cass County. Uh, that starts at 3 p.m. today. It goes until uh, 4 a.m. tonight, so it's going to be a quick hitting system. This will come racing in here. Normally I would say it would only lay down maybe an inch or two of snow, but I think we'll see some moisture feed from Lake Michigan and some lake enhancement. So some locations in these areas that get that moisture feed may pick up on the order of about three or four inches. That possibility will be there. None of these other counties are in the winter weather advisories. That doesn't mean they can't be added. And if you're not in those counties, you'll probably only see about an inch or less. That's where we're going right now. And if you're further to the north and east of Grand Rapids, you may not see anything but just a few flakes or flurries. We have some snow showers and some flakes and flurries out there. You can see in Allegan County right now. I can't rule out some of that as we go through the daytime hours. But the better moisture feed and the better situation with snow showers won't come in until we get into the mid to late afternoon hours and the energy and the lift uh, from that little what we call a little short wave disturbance, uh, upper level disturbance won't come in here until later on today. But you can see uh, there's still a little bit of activity out there. Otherwise, we're going to be mainly cloudy today and a bit on the breezy side. So it's going to be a little bit chilly. Our current temperatures, Big Rapids, the white cloud to Fremont. We're in the low to mid 20s there. 27 degrees right now in Grand Rapids, 26 in Clarksville. Down to the south, we're in the mid 20s as well. And along and south of the I-94 corridor, we're in the mid 20s. We're not going to move much today at all. Only in into the upper 20s, but that's only part of the equation. We do have a bit of a wind chill out there. It feels like it's in the mid to upper teens right now. It feels like 23 up there in Big Rapids, 20 in uh, Holland. Most of our wind chills today are going to feel like upper teens to low 20s. That's going to stay with us all day. Our forecast for today, cloudy skies. Maybe some light snow showers or flurries through the day. Not really amounting to much. It's late around this afternoon and into the evening where we see that accumulating snow come in, especially in the areas we just mentioned. High temperatures today only around 28 degrees, but again, with that westerly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour, it's going to feel cooler than that. As we look at our forecast model, this is at 9 a.m. Notice there's nothing going on, but watch what happens into the late afternoon. This upper level disturbance comes in, it picks up moisture from Lake Michigan, and the radar is expected to blossom in those same areas where we have the winter weather advisory. This is around the dinner hour at 6 p.m. That continues at a pretty good clip through the evening hours, but by the time we get into the overnight hours, that begins to fizzle out. Tomorrow, we're thinking partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. There is another frontal system that's going to work in here Wednesday night into Thursday. Cold front will slide through that could provide a little bit of snow shower activity, but this is small potatoes in the big scheme of things. We're not looking for any big systems. As we look at our future snowfall here with the GFS forecast model that has the best handle on things, uh, you could see where a lot of the snow will fall, giving us about one to two inches, but with a moisture feed off Lake Michigan, some of these locations may see a little bit more, maybe three or four inches in some of these areas we talked about. Notice on the outskirts of Grand Rapids off to the north and east in some of those other counties, really not much at all, a dusting if that. Uh, as we look at the forecast then today, the light snow showers, especially developing later on this afternoon and into the evening. Highs only around 28 degrees. That'll be finished, but your Wednesday morning commute in those areas could be a little slippery. Certainly some wet pavement will be possible. Breezy conditions for tomorrow and our Wednesday. Temperatures around 27 degrees. We're up to around 36 on Thursday with partly sunny skies. That's the warmest day out of the bunch. And then we're going to start to head back into the upper 20s, it looks like, with maybe some snow showers, flakes, or flurries, especially as we get into Sunday, but no big systems on the horizon. Mike?